Hey guys, so I think it's been something like a year now since I have uploaded a drawing video and I've been having multiple requests to post a new drawing video and I figured why not, I'm gonna do it. It's so much easier for me to actually film a drawing and post it rather than a painting because paintings actually take close to like 40 hours on a single video and that includes the painting itself, includes filming, it includes editing, processing all that footage, sometimes it'll take more than 40 hours. So if I can get something, you know, in less than two hours done and ready to upload, I think I will do more of that, if you guys don't mind. Because I do sketch and draw a lot, I just, I don't know, I, I set like the standard for myself to only upload paintings on my YouTube channel and maybe that's overwhelming sometimes, so hope you guys don't mind if I end up posting more drawings. So over here I am sketching out um, kind of like a concept sketch for my water pieces and I do these quite a bit, especially recently. So just basically drawing out a bunch of shapes and then filling them in. That's really all it is to painting and drawing water. There's just shapes and reflections and they're transparent and then in between those reflections you see like a distorted twisted figure underneath it because the water kind of functions as a lens. Um, so yeah, it can be pretty confusing. And this next one I'm drawing on toned gray paper and I'm using pencil and well, I think it was like 6B or 8B pencil with um, a dark onyx pencil and also white charcoal. Now I don't recommend working with any kind of graphite, anything other than charcoal or like a black um, Prismacolor pencil will probably not work as good. It kind of worked here but still charcoal is infinitely better for toned paper. It just comes up so much darker and if you get a good enough white charcoal pencil it's it's really fun to work with but I was working with some limited supplies that I wasn't really too happy with but I was just dying to draw so whatever just make it work by the way speaking of making it work I actually burned some pasta the other day and then I drew with those burned pastas and I posted it on Instagram and it got over a thousand likes which is crazy because it's burned pasta but I guess you guys liked it so maybe I'll do some burned pasta drawings who knows yeah, so this drawing came out kind of creepy, and not exactly like what I wanted it to look like, but you know, you gotta experiment and make mistakes and figure it out. You can't make a perfect work of art every single time. You know, we all have a different perspective of what our work looks like to us, so to me this one ended up a little more scribbly and sloppy and kind of creepy, but I still like it, so yeah. Now this one right here was my favorite out of all three of these. It just ended up kind of smooth and just like what I wanted it to look like. And yes, that is a paper towel that I have attached to the pencil um, with my hands. I'm, I didn't even attach it, I was just like holding it in place and using it to smudge. Um, I don't know why, but I really don't like the smudge tools, like you know those board like rolled up board paper ones that they make just for that purpose I don't really like them I actually prefer using something soft like a brush or paper towel or my finger I know some people would like die hearing about smudging with your fingers but who cares okay whatever so the oils from your hands are gonna get on the paper who cares calm down breathe it's gonna be all right <laughs> so yeah most of these I think I'm going to turn into paintings. I have a whole bunch of more idea, like concept sketches that I'm doing. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you got a little more insight on how I draw my water, which is basically sketching out a bunch of weird shapes and trying to make them work and flow together. And I'll probably upload more videos like these, you know, just drawings with narrations. And also I want to say a huge thank you for 100,000 subscribers. I actually didn't really have time to prepare, I've been so swamped lately, but I do have a special video planned for you guys, which you have been requesting and requesting and requesting for so long and still requesting, and I thought, okay, I'm just gonna make it. Um, so I'm working on that. And there's also a new art diary series that I'm working on, and it's just gonna feature, like, it's gonna be like a fusion of vlogs and creative adventures and drawing and painting and kind of incorporating it all together and just 
maybe sharing more of my life on this channel because I don't want it to just be speed paintings. Like, I get bored with making nothing but speed paintings. There's so much more to me and my work and I'd love to share all that with you guys. And again, thank you so much for all of your support. I love you all. Be sure to subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed and I'll see you next week. Bye guys.